guys, it's Diane here from UK Disney Vlog. So I wanted to do a quick review video about our trip to Villages Nature um, in Paris. location um, just situated uh, about five minutes drive away from Disneyland Paris it's also a Disney class of Disney accommodation as well it was designed with Disney and Centre Parks together you do get some of the perks staying there uh, for Disney uh, you get early entrance to the park you don't however get um, the dining plan but the early entrance to the park is a really um, great thing to have included in it so Villages Nature can be used, like I said, for accommodation to go to Disneyland Paris or it can be used as a completely separate holiday altogether um, if you just wanted to go and experience another centre parks outside the UK. It's an amazing, amazing place to go. Um, we wished we'd have more time to spend there because um, it's just a holiday you can have. Just go there for the weekend and just spend all your time there because there is so much to see and do while we're there. So the check-in process was really straightforward and simple. If any guys, if any of you guys have ever been to um, Centre Parks in the UK, it's just as straightforward as that. You go up to the booth, give them your reference numbers, and they will then give you your um, your room key, which is a bit like a magic band um, and like a key card, but it's actually on your wrist, and you just use that to scan in and open your accommodation door. It's very straightforward. The one thing I was worried about the most is um, whether they spoke English or not, and they do. They speak, speak perfect English, they're really helpful, really friendly, and it's so straightforward, we had absolutely no problems whatsoever. Now the accommodation itself is so lovely, we absolutely loved where we stayed. We stayed in a two bedroom villa or lodge, they're like little lodges all together, it's such a beautiful place. Um, it was really clean, we stayed like I said, two bedroom villa, uh, kids had separate beds and we had a double bed all to ourselves. Um, Lovely, lovely kitchen, dining area, beautiful table, beautiful outdoor area. We didn't get to use it unfortunately because the weather was a little bit rubbish while we were there. But I can imagine on the hot sunny days that it's absolutely stunning. It's got all the facilities you could imagine. I've heard different things that you have to bring your own plates and cups and things like that. And I don't know where I heard that from but it's not true. They provide everything. Uh, cookers, fridge, um, kettle, there's everything you need to um, make a meal for a family. Uh, it's got a shower and a bath which is amazing. Um, my family like baths so having a bath is fantastic. Um, and like I said it was beautiful, it was clean, it was warm, it, it was just lovely. It was such a nice little place to stay. Now Village Nature itself is just beautiful. It's got beautiful surrounding areas, it's got one big main lake, there are loads and loads of different places that are all the way, all the way around the lake the accommodation is situated, it's got beautiful seating areas and nice places you can just sit and chill out, have a bit of a picnic and just watch the landscape because it's stunning. They've got little um, quirky little gardens that you can go to and explore and um, that's again the, the it's just stunning, that's the only word I could use to describe this place, it's stunning. Um, it's got great theming, it's just the architecture and how they've just intermingled it with the, with the actual environment and nature. It's just, it's beautiful, it's really peaceful and serene and I couldn't recommend going here highly enough. They've got loads of facilities, got loads and loads of facilities, it's got loads to keep the kids entertained. Um, they've got fantastic shops and restaurants. Um, so a couple of the restaurants, if you'd seen our, one of our previous videos, there is um, a fantastic Italian restaurant that serves great pizzas. Um, so if you've not 
seen that video on our travel day, we'll leave a link down below and go and watch it. It's a beautiful restaurant and, and you, you have to go there if you're staying there. It's a little bit on the pricier side, but it's definitely, definitely worth it. Um, it's got some great shops. It's got an amazing, amazing boulangerie. Fantastic cakes and pastries and fresh baguettes. So we got our breakfast here in the mornings, lovely uh, pan of chocolate, some croissants. We got some fresh bread for the day and then we use that to then take a picnic um, into Disneyland Paris. Um, but yeah, the boulangerie is beautiful. I could have had everything. It's got a really nice um, general store basically. The prices didn't seem too expensive. Um, I think it's probably cheaper if you go to the map and the big carry for, but they just, for what where you are, the prices didn't seem um, too high and the choice and the range of food they had and the range of options they had for other things like toiletries and everything like that was really good as well. And they've got some shops obviously for you to spend all those euros on. They've got a um, aquatic shop, so if you forget your swimming costume you've got somewhere to go. They've also got a beautiful um, nature shop, um, it's sort of got a holistic vibe to it, it's got a big, big aromatherapy section and we love that, we love smelling all the oils, it was beautiful, they've got like a massage area that Harry loved, just sat there in the chair for ages on the, uh, the massage chairs. Obviously they've got the bit for the kids, um, they've got things like telescopes and astronomy and obviously Harry wanted to spend all his um, euros in there. They've also got great entertainment for the kids, they've got a bowling, um, somewhere to go bowling and they've got an arcade, but it's just all set in a stunning environment um, and beautiful facilities. I've obviously got the dome. The dome is impressive. It's obviously a swimming area, it's got fantastic slides and it's beautiful, it's really really beautiful. A wave pool. We didn't get to use the facilities as much as we wanted to because if you've seen the videos you know Emily broke her foot so she couldn't go swimming. Um, yeah she wasn't supposed to go swimming but dad let her go in the pool for a little bit for a bit of a float but she couldn't go on any of the slides in case she risked banging her foot. It's got a really nice indoor and outdoor area. You can even get to go to the top of the dome and just view the landscape. It's it's breathtaking. Uh, we had a, such a lovely night We're just walking up to the top of the dome and um, looking out across to Disneyland Paris so you can see um, the Tower of Terror and you can see some of the Disneyland hotels. The views are just beautiful and it was such a lovely evening after our meal going for a stroll up to the top of the dome and even the landscaping up there is beautiful and the way they've done it it's a lovely lovely environment. you can go and see and do and explore so they've got obviously got loads of different activities you can get involved in and we like I said we didn't get involved in any of the activities but they've got a vaster range of things to do. They've also got a little farm for the kids to go on um, and go and see a little petting farm to go to and um, they've got activities like chocolate making and all sorts of different things you'd have to go and check out their website and find out what you can do while you're there if you just go in there for a holiday itself. They've also got a really, really cool um, outdoor activity park, I suppose. It's got lots of different climbing frames, it's all set in the woods and it's beautifully themed again. The kids loved it. Don't quite know how Emily managed to climb to the top of one of them with her with her foot the way it was, but she managed it the next thing she was right at the top and she did have a great time in the end um, and Harry just loved exploring. Now to get around, it's a massive place, it's huge. It's absolutely huge. The good thing about this place is you can park your car near to your accommodation. It's not like Centre Parks where you have to park miles away and then walk through and you're not allowed to see your car for the rest of the holiday. You can park your car near the accommodation that you're staying in, which is a really, really big plus point if you are going out for the day. But to get around the village themselves, you've got 
such a such a cute little internal bus service it was the strangest experience it's not quite a bus it's not quite a taxi but it's such a cute little thing and it's a little electric bus that just drives you all the way around and drops you off at the various locations it drops you off at the parks it drops you off at the farm obviously at the dome and they've also got a another bus service that just takes you to the front entrance um, the good thing about Village Nature is they have a bus service to Disneyland Paris so if you didn't want to drive to Disneyland Paris you can use their free bus service is it free no no <coughs> So if you do want to drive to Disneyland Paris, you can use their bus service. It isn't free, and as I'm making this video, I can't quite remember how much it, it is, but check out the price down below. I'm sure it's up to date now. We didn't use it, we decided to drive to Disneyland Paris because it was really straightforward and only took us about five minutes. As part of our travel package, we got free uh, parking at Disneyland Paris, so I think it was a no-brainer for us. If we hadn't have got the free parking, we probably would have used the bus service. However, we did like the, um, the choice of being able to drive home because when we came home quite late at night, it was just nice to be able to get in our own car and not have to wait for the bus back to the resort. So, everybody has to go and stay at Village Nature, whether you are going to Disneyland or whether you're not. I think as a family, we'd love to go back again. Um, I definitely, absolutely, definitely, definitely would want to go back again, even just as a holiday by itself. As long as it was in the height of summer, I'd love to go back um, and just use the facilities properly and explore the resort again. Um, and just have a, it's just an amazing place to go and everybody must go. It gets a massive UK Disney thumbs up. Um, please, please go, have a look at it, um, check out the website. I hope you've really enjoyed the video and I hope you found it quite useful. Don't forget to click that like button and subscribe. Um, go and check out our other videos on Disneyland Paris and um, our, pr our travel day video about arriving in Village Nature. Um, thanks for watching. Bye!